I am very happy to see you here. I hope you and family are keeping safe. Will you please subscribe? The pronghorn is a species of even toed, hoofed mammal indigenous to interior western and central North America. Though not an antelope, it is often known colloquially in North America as the American antelope, prong buck, pronghorn antelope, prairie antelope, or simply antelope, because it closely resembles the true antelopes of the old world and fills a similar ecological niche due to parallel evolution. Pronghorn's closest living relatives are the giraffes and okapi. The pronghorn is the symbol of the American Society of Mammalogists. Pronghorns have distinct white fur on their rumps, sides, breasts, bellies, and across their throats. The feet have two hooves, with no dew claws. Each horn of the pronghorn is composed of a slender, laterally flattened blade of bone, which is thought to grow from the frontal bones of the skull, or from the subcutaneous tissues of the scalp, forming a permanent core. As in the giraffidae, skin covers the bony cores, but in the pronghorn, it develops into a keratinous sheath which is shed and regrown annually. Unlike the horns of the family bovidae, the horn sheaths of the pronghorn are branched, each sheath having a forward-pointing tine. Males are further differentiated from females in having a small patch of black hair at the angle of the mandible. Pronghorns have a distinct, musky odor. Males mark territory with a preorbital set gland, which is on the sides of the head. They also have very large eyes with a 320 degrees field of vision. Unlike deer, pronghorns possess a gallbladder. The present-day range of the pronghorn extends from southern Saskatchewan and Alberta in Canada south through the United States, southwestern Minnesota, and central Texas west to coastal Southern California and northern Baja California Sur to Sonora and San Luis Potosi in northern Mexico. Pronghorns form mixed-sex herds in the winter. In early spring, the herds break up, with young males forming bachelor groups, females forming harems, and adult males living solitarily. Some female bands share the same summer range, and bachelor male bands form between spring and fall. Females form dominance hierarchies with few circular relationships. Dominant females aggressively displace other females from feeding sites. I just hope you liked this video, and I will look forward to see you pretty soon. Till then, take care and keep smiling.